Well, good afternoon, and thank you so much for tuning in today for the KTH 910 AM Interview of the Week. We are broadcasting across all of Dallas-Fort Worth uh, this afternoon. My name is Dave Palmer, Executive Director here at the station and host of this program, uh, something I enjoy so much because it gives us an opportunity to talk about the good things that are happening in the local Catholic Church, and I meet so many incredible people in the process of it. And today, um, uh, a, a whole group of wonderful men in studio with me, and uh, this is something we've done before because uh, we are right uh, just less than a month away now from the 8th Annual North Texas Catholic Men's Conference. And every year it's like a ritual. These guys come in, and we cut some spots, and we do an interview, and we are, you know, and I've been to all these. I've been to every single one of them, and we're encouraging every man listening right now, every man in North Texas, Catholic or not, 18 years and older, to register and get to St. Patrick's Parish on February 23rd this year for the North Texas Catholic Men's Conference. And uh, the guys who are here are part of the leadership team, and uh, they are Bob Duane, Rick Self, Bill Kula, Joey Osam, and also not speaking but videotaping, as is typical, Ralph Saransky. And so we uh, uh, welcome all you guys to the studio, and thanks for making time to, to come here. I'm, I'm very impressed that you guys could all organize uh, time to get here at the same time. So uh, welcome, gentlemen. Good morning, Dave. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Uh, we're fired up and excited about the 8th Annual Conference, which is going to be at St. Patrick's Parish in Dallas on Saturday, February 23rd. We start out with Mass at 8 a.m., and then the conference officially kicks off with our kickoff speaker, Bishop Burns, at 9 o'clock. And Rick will tell you about the other outstanding speakers, but the conference this year goes from 9 to 3, and uh, we are uh, we have power pack speakers, fellowship, adoration, rosary, just a, a great time with men. The theme of the conference is strengthen your brothers, stand firm in Christ. And we were inspired for this theme in a, in a meeting we had with Bishop Burns last year. And so uh, <laughs> that inspiration has caused the theme and our whole purpose is how do we make men stronger in Christ, better fathers, better husbands, better Catholic men and leaders in their parishes. So the whole idea that this is not a conference. Uh, Catholic Brothers for Christ is a movement, and the movement is how do we get Catholic men involved in the ministry in their parishes? This is not about coming one day. This is about uh, a life, a change in your life, a renewal. And uh, Dave, this year we're going to do something different. We're going to have, for people that are there, we're going to give them six weeks of previous videos and other things that they can watch every week Hopefully, they'll be getting small groups started in their parishes. You know, the parish I come from is Good Shepherd in Colleyville. And the first conference, we had one person attend. And it, next year, it was 20-some-odd. Then it was 50-some-odd. Then it's been over 100 ever since then. And the movement is to help that happen in all parishes in all of North Texas. It really highlights the power of one man going back to his parish and saying, guys, we got to get more people coming from this parish. And of course, Good Shepherd hosted it last year. And I love how it has moved around. This isn't like a static location. I don't think it's ever been at St. Patrick's in Dallas before, but it's been uh, at uh, uh, Prince of Peace a couple of times. It's been out in the Fort Worth Diocese. It's been at uh, St. Francis and Grapevine, uh, even the Convention Center, I think in North Richland Hills or Hearst. And so now for the first time in uh, in the eastern part of Dallas, St. Patrick's Parish, the parish I grew up in, so I'm, I'm very excited about that. I would, um, before we get to the to the speakers, and I know there are some outstanding ones, and Rick Self's going to talk about that, I'm really curious what you said, Bob, and maybe somebody else can jump in and talk about this this theme, uh, Strengthen Your Brothers, Stand Firm in Christ. Uh, Bill, uh, Bob was saying that this was inspired by our conversation with Bishop Burns, who you know, came over to uh, the Fort Worth Diocese last year, spoke, and uh, it was such a blessing to have him there. Uh, tell us about the, the genesis of this theme. Well, the genesis comes straight from the Gospel of Luke, and in it, it really is an opportunity where when you're in the Gospel, you're, you're hearing the foretelling of Peter's denial. And when Jesus is speaking to Peter, he's talking about um, that it's not just that um, you need to turn back and turn away from Satan, but as you do that, you need to then strengthen your brothers. And so when we talk about strengthening your brothers, this is an opportunity for 
us to be able to, in effect, do that turning back ourselves, and we and we look at uh, uh, Peter's denial and the short sightedness and the selfishness and the sin and the fear and, and saying that we need to be strengthened by the Lord. So in this particular case, we felt that it was very appropriate that um, uh, Bishop Burns, as one of our speakers this year, uh, it was very providential that when he shared those words with us in a meeting, that uh, it, it in effect became the cornerstone of this year's theme. It builds very nicely upon past year's themes uh, of mercy uh, and also uh, being the salt and the light of the earth. And at this particular time with Mother Church, there is a very important need for us as men to not just strengthen ourselves, but in fact to strengthen one another. So this is a conference that's going to be uh, inviting for men in all walks of life, whether they may be uh, daily Mass attendees or they're an individual who hasn't been to Mass in a year and they haven't been to reconciliation in who knows how long, uh, that doesn't matter. This is a very inviting uh, uh, theme that's going to allow all of our speakers to be able to encourage men to, one, strengthen themselves for the benefit of not just themselves, but for the significant others in their life. And then also, when we come together as a community, uh, it is incredibly powerful when you see uh, a, a parish or a sanctuary filled with men of all ages, of all ethnicities, of all background, praying and worshiping the Lord together. That's what we mean when we talk about strengthening your brothers. And in order to do that, the sub-theme is stand firm in Christ and you have to be firm in your faith. You have to be firm in your relationship with the Lord in order to strengthen other people because people will see Christ reflected in you. And that's what we hope to do is through this conference, strengthen brothers so that we can be at just the right appointed place that the Lord puts us so that we are uh, shining a light towards him uh, with others. Talking about the 8th Annual North Texas Catholic Men's Conference, uh, all men 18 years and older, you know, father and son, brothers, uh, priests, seminarians, uh, everybody is is welcome. You don't even have to be Catholic to come. St. Patrick's Parish in Dallas, Saturday, February 23rd, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mass celebrated before that at 8 o'clock, and you're very welcome and encouraged to come to the Mass as well. Uh, and as uh, these gentlemen have been talking about, the theme, Strengthen Your Brothers, Stand Firm in Christ. I'm joined in studio by the uh, with the leadership team, Bob Duane, Rick Self, Bill Kula, Joey Sam, and Ralph Saransky is uh, our videographer, and uh, so doing a great job. So you'll see the video of this uh, soon as well. Um, Rick, the, the the speakers are interesting, especially I'm, I'm intrigued by Patrick Coffin because he was scheduled to be the the keynote speaker last year, and uh, he had uh, issue with his his father being ill, and eventually his father did pass away. He came in Friday, had to fly out, and wasn't able to do it, so we got another speaker to take his place. Uh, and also some guy named Father Mitch Pacwa is going to come as well, in addition to Bishop Burns. Uh, tell us about this selection. I get the privilege of talking about our speakers, and they're wonderful speakers like they always are every year. Uh, bishop Burns, of course, uh, the Bishop of Dallas. Uh, we're really looking forward to him, especially when it, with, with all the things going on with the church right now. He's got to encourage us to be strong men, to basically the church needs us now more than ever before. So I think the bishop's going to encourage us to to get involved, to get engaged in the church, and to kind of help uh, solve some of this these issues that are going on. Uh, Patrick Coffin, he was our speaker last year. He, uh, like like you said, his his dad fell ill and he, he passed away, so uh, he wasn't able to join us. But he's uh, a great evangelist. He's a he was on Catholic Answers for many years as the host. He uh, knows the Catholic faith, and what I like about him is he's going to be able to relate the culture to the, our church and to us as men. So that's what we're going to hear from him. And then Father Pacwa, what can we say about Father Mitch Pacwa? He's a great theologian. He's a, he, knows, he knows 13 languages. He speaks 13 languages. Uh, he's just a super speaker. He, I think he's going to take us and educate us more on, on, on the faith uh, from all different directions. So it's just a wonderful lineup of speakers. Um, and, and then we also have Father Joseph uh, at, at the parish. Uh, hopefully he can get uh, in front of us as well from St. Pat's, uh, pa Patrick's in uh, Dallas. 
um, he's he's going to be there as well. So, jo- men, join up, sign sign today. NTXCMC.org. Go to Catholic Brothers for Christ to sign up, and then invite all your brothers that you have, all your um, you know your chirp brothers, your axe brothers, your um, your brothers at home, your fathers, your, your uncles, uh, and get them here to the conference. It's going to be a great experience, um, and. I uh, look forward to everyone coming. I'm glad you mentioned Father Joseph Omerkonig as well, the pastor over there. Very interesting story. I'm sure some of you are familiar with it. He's from Germany. He was married, had, I think, six or seven kids. Uh, his wife died, uh, became a deacon, a priest, and has been vocation director in the diocese, uh, now pastor at St. Patrick's for a long time. Really, really good man. He's been very, very supportive of Catholic Radio as well. Um, Joey, let me bring you into the conversation. Uh, okay. the, the speakers are often the the draw. You know, I want to come see Father Mitch or Patrick Coffin. I'm, I'm blessed to be the MC for this event again, and thank you for that opportunity. Uh, but there's so much else that's going on uh, as far as sacraments, reconciliation, the celebration of Mass, uh, confession, uh, confession, uh, praise and worship. Talk about some of that and, and some of the things that will be happening uh, throughout these uh, six or seven hours of this conference. Certainly, Dave. Uh, before I get started, I just want to remind everybody of the website, so get your pen and pencil out or pull over to the side of the road yeah. and then get your phone out and then go to ntxcmc.org. That's ntxcmc.org. That's our website. That's where you'll be able to see the information about the speakers, actually register yourself for the uh, the conference uh, the registration right now is still open for early bird at $39 per seat till the end of the month. It will go to $45 on February 1st, and then at the actual day of the conference, it will go to $50. So certainly worth it for all three different prices, and um, we welcome every man out there to actually come and join us. And then if you're a vendor and you're interested in actually coming out to uh, to the conference, we still have some open spots for vendor tables. It's uh Listed also on our website, so you can go right to the registration page and then sign up as a vendor. We'd be glad to help have you come out. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to go back to our actual mission, Dave. Uh, strengthen your brothers, stand firm in Christ. Um, this brings me back to when this organization was originally kind of thought about and started. Danny Romowitz came to St. Gabriel's in, in McKinney nine, ten years ago, I guess, when we first came. And he ran into me in the sidewalk after I attended one of his uh, Mango Series lectures. And he basically told me, Joey, we need men who can stand for the Catholic Church and stand firm in Christ. So this mission for this year brings me all the way back to the very beginning of us getting this organization started. So not only do you hear the speakers, you have time for adoration and reflection to go deep in your heart and just give yourself to the Lord. Allow the Holy Spirit to basically drive you on your day-to-day activities and in your personal life. You also, if you have not been to reconciliation in years or even last year or maybe last month, every Catholic is different. We've had guys that have come to reconciliation after not going for 40 years mm. plus. So it's it's a very powerful when a man can come back to his faith, give his life over to Christ, do his confession with the priest, and be absolved of his sins. It's so powerful. It really is. Um, <clears throat> outside of that, I mean, the day is going to be you know fun-filled and, and packed with great speakers. Our conferences every year have just been great conferences. This is our eighth year, and I'm sure we're going to be continuing to do this every year. And we really want to get back to the to the mission is bring men into the faith, help them be involved with their own parishes like Bob had talked about, and being an active Catholic. So strengthen your brothers. If you're driving down the road right now, what I want you to do is think about a man in your life that you can grab by the arm and tell him, we're going to go to this conference and we're going, to, uh, we're going to go to this conference together. We're going to go to adoration. We're going to go to confession. We're going to give our lives to Christ. And hopefully by that man reaching out and grabbing that other man, he's brought another man to the faith. And then those two men can get started back in their own parish to build their own programs and bring more men back into the faith. Yeah, so well said. And, <clears throat> you know, when you, you know, think about it, and I want to bring Bill in, because Bill just recently uh, began a job at the Catholic Foundation, and I know your background is uh, communication, marketing, and, uh, you know, you think uh, these great speakers, this great event, the opportunity for men to strengthen themselves, a, a metroplex of, you know, 7 million people, we should fill AT&T Stadium. And, but it's still, there's always a, a, a struggle, especially with men. Uh, to get them proverbially off the couch and come and sign up for something like this. And, of course, we're doing this today, and you know, we, we throw all of our radio resources at promoting it. And how else do you encourage people? Maybe there's women listening right now who they want to get their husband there, or their father, or their brother. Uh, what would you say about 
marketing it and how we can make this the biggest and best that uh, conference we've ever had. There is no question whatsoever that women, whether it's a grandmother, uh, a wife, a girlfriend, um, the impact that they have in encouraging men to take action to grow in their faith, we have seen that repeatedly over and over throughout the years where females have been the conduit that has encouraged a man to actually sign up and register to attend the conference. So I've seen this personally in a number of cases where uh, females have come up to me, seen me wearing a Catholic Brothers for Christ shirt or passing out uh, flyers and pamphlets, whether it's at March for Life or Dallas Catholic Youth Conference or or the Dallas Ministry Conference or other venues. And women have come up to me and said, thank you. Thank you for what you and your brothers did to invite my husband to come to a conference because I've seen a change in him. And when we see that change that takes place, um, we know that that's where the Holy Spirit is, um, is alive and well in this men's movement, as Bob and Rick alluded to. So we do use a lot of social media. We have our Facebook page, which is the North Texas Catholic Brothers for Christ. We're on Twitter at NTXCMC. Um, we have our website that you've heard about before. So if you go to NTXCMC.com, you'll see a lot of uh, valuable material, not just about our conference, but we provide videos, we provide resources for men to grow in their faith. And most importantly, we're so grateful and, and, and appreciative that when priests throughout the Fort Worth and the Dallas Diocese allow men to come in and offer pulpit talks, uh, to be able to talk to knights groups, to be able to talk to different men's organizations and parishes, it tends to be that face-to-face um, communication and contact that causes a man to decide, what am I going to do with the time that I've been given and cause that man to actually step up and register? Uh, When we first began uh, almost eight years ago, we had 36 parishes represented. As it was mentioned earlier, we've grown to where we've had over 110 parishes attend these conferences. And so the beauty that takes place oftentimes is that when a man often hears about the conference, they then start talking to other brothers about attending. And we just want to encourage men to not be ashamed, not be embarrassed, to invite another friend to come to a conference. It is in community that we celebrate and we have the type of fellowship and worship that I think the Lord wants us to have. It's not just one man in front of the Lord. When we're there with an entire parish filled with other men from various ethnicities and backgrounds and parishes. Uh, It's a beautiful sight to see. So we would just encourage men to be responsive uh, and that we'll be continuing to reach out through our digital channels and through a lot of um, uh, face-to-face conversations. Um, We're hopeful that um, we're able to draw upon uh, that personal invitation uh, that causes a man to do just what, when when the Lord said to Matthew, come follow me, uh, in this case, we're just saying, Come be with us at this conference. All right, the website, ntxcmc.org. And as these gentlemen mentioned, $39 until the end of this month. And so you really just have about another week or so to register at the uh, the, the lower rate. It goes up to 45 during most of the month of February. And then if you wait till <laughs> you get to the door, it's going to be $50. If you're a student, uh, the pricing is $15. I'm speaking to the leadership team for the 8th Annual North Texas Catholic Men's Conference. It's going to be at St. Patrick's Parish in Dallas, uh, Saturday, February 23rd, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. with an 8 o'clock mass beforehand. Bob Duane, Rick Self, Bill Kula, Joey Sam. Uh, joining me, Ralph Saransky here, videotaping as well. Bob, you know, I'm thinking about the conference last year. I was there, I was emceeing. It was, uh, you know, early in the year like this one as well. Nobody at that time had any idea what 2018 was going to bring for the church. You know, there's so much mystery and so much has happened. And I, I just, and you, you can you can kind of take this any direction you want, but as I see this second part of the theme, Stand Firm in Christ. You know, we, we love our bishops, our cardinals, our leaders, our pope, but we don't, we don't stand, we, we, we are with Christ, you know, and sometimes our leaders will uh, do things that aren't so great, and ultimately we have to remember our, our, our foundation is Christ, 
And uh, we're all fallible, we're all sinners, uh, but Christ isn't. And so I just love that. It's almost providential that this is the theme when uh, the faith of many has been shaken the past 12 months. Dave, that makes this conference for men to be there that much more important. Mm -hmm. It's because uh, as men, they need to be the leader of their family. They need to be strong. They need to be proud to be Catholic. They need to understand that we're all flawed. We all sin. And when someone in a position of leadership does some of the terrible things that have happened, um, we need to admit it, uh, beg forgiveness, and move on. And as men, we need to be able to answer that to our Protestant brothers and sisters who ask us questions. This conference will, we will, it's not the theme of the conference. The theme of the conference is to make people strong. We need to be strong. You know, uh, the devil is attacking every way they can. They attack uh, especially because this is the eighth annual conference, and, and Joey and the team that got this started, uh, they started a movement. And uh, uh, I will mention that the uh, you're, you're emceeing for the third year, and we really stepped the game up when you became MC. Hmm. And uh, and we we've got. I'm I'm going to tease you and tell you this: come February 23rd to find out exciting news we have for 2020. All right. We've already got stuff, uh, location, working on some incredible speakers for 2020. But we're not going to announce that until February 23rd. But you'll want to be there to hear what's happening. So in you guys are already got plans for the the 2020. Okay, yeah. very good. You know we're uh, we're down to our last uh, five minutes or so. We can go maybe go a little bit longer. And I don't want anybody to walk out and say, "Gosh, I wish he had asked me about this." So I just want to open up the, uh, to anybody. Uh, who wants to mention anything else? We've covered the basics, the, uh, the 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 sacraments, the speakers, the date, the time, all that kind of good stuff, the mass. But uh, Rick, uh, go, go ahead. What, what else do you want? Should people know about this? Well, conference? I just want to mention um, the our ambassador program. We have we're we're reaching out to people in different parishes for to be an ambassador, and the reason for that is for, so they can get out and recruit at their parish and. It's, it's wonderful to see all the different parishes involved with our organization. We Over 120 different parishes have been to our, our conferences throughout the years. Uh, we have probably uh, 15, 20 on our leadership team from, from different parishes, Dallas, Fort Worth. And that's the beauty of this organization. It's not just a Dallas thing. It's not just a Fort Worth thing. And one of the reasons we wanted to take it back over to Dallas this year is to get more of the Dallas folks back engaged because we did it in, at Prince of Peace for so many years, uh, for a few years, and we had a lot of folks from Dallas over there. And so that's why we thought we need to get back to, to St. Patrick's or over to Dallas. So uh, the ambassadors, again, are our strength. They're the ones who get uh, people to the conference. But again, this is a movement, not a conference. It's just, it's just a way for us to engage in our faith on a daily basis um, back and be the leaders that God wants us to be. Okay, so you're <clears throat> you're driving down the road. You pulled over. You got the website, and you're thinking maybe I can be an ambassador for my parish. How do I do that? You go to our website ntxcmc.org. You click on the register donate uh, tab at the top of the website, and you go to the parish ambassador section of the website. There you see the other parish ambassadors who already have signed up and are helping us with getting the word out. You'll see some uh, marketing materials out on the website that you can actually share with members of your parish. If you have an electronic bulletin board, perhaps you can send it to your parish office, get them to add it to the bulletin board. The poster size invitation for the conference with the three speakers <clears throat> basically will come up. And uh, that's a, a way that you can help us out at your parish by being an ambassador. So go to the website, ncxcmc.org. Go to the registration section of the website and then sign up as a parish ambassador. And if you need any help in reference to getting any of these materials out, <clears throat> we can certainly assist you in doing that. Just just sign up as an ambassador. And, you know, I look around at you guys, and I think all, uh, most, if not all of you, have been around the whole, pretty much the whole time, if not at least six or seven of these years. I, I keep coming back, and I yeah, just want to maybe give you a chance from a personal standpoint why do you keep coming back? You're all busy men. Uh, this is a, a you know dedicating a, a day of your life. Uh, you got families, jobs, but something keeps drawing you back. Uh, what is it from a personal standpoint that means so much to you? Uh, any of you can jump in and say that. Uh, I, I'll start with that. <clears throat> this is Joey. So anyway, the reason why I come back is one, I kind of started this thing, and when I gave my life over to Christ, I said, Lord, what do you want me to do? 
and this is something he had asked me to do. Joey, I need you to continue working this. I've had challenges in trying to help out with the leadership team with this. And, you know, I've been called a Jesus freak. And one of my friends would tell me, oh, that's a great thing for you to be called a Jesus freak. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, right. oh, yeah, that's right. That's what Jesse Romero told me one time. Oh, are you a Jesus freak? Yes, I'm a Jesus freak because I love God. I love Jesus. And I'm going to let him be in control of my life. And every day when I get up and I read my daily readings or if I uh, read the scripture of the day, you know, it, it to me, it, as I have learned more about my faith, I'm like, oh, my gosh, here's all these things that I've missed in my life that now – have been open to my eyes, and I can see, I can read about, I can listen to. Your radio station, for one, when I first started this this group, I would listen to 9, 10, 24 hours a day if I could. There's so many good things that came out of this radio station. Mother Angelica, Father Pacwa, all the other speakers and different series and speakers that you guys host on this radio station. I learned so many things about, about our faith. I'm like, this is awesome. While I'm driving to work, I can listen to this. When I'm coming home from work, I can listen to it. If I'm working in the art, I can put on a set of headphones and I can listen to this. So that's kind of why I'm still involved. I mean, it's a challenge sometimes, and I know the devil's always out there. When Bob and I were coming up to the building, you know, we noticed that the parking lot was closed and we forgot about the parking lot issues that you guys had. And we're like, oh, we got to park along the street. As soon as I pulled into a spot, this lady comes up and goes, oh, you can't park there, sir. I went, Oh, wonderful. The devil's already <laughs> <laughs> Roblox already, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, just yeah. a couple minutes remaining, Bill. A few years ago, it was a discipleship Sunday, and I happened to be um, doing some help um, prior to Mass, and I was waiting out in the atrium. And I remember the priest saying, pray big for what you want in life that you don't have. So I started thinking to myself, well, what could that be? And I said, I would like to be involved. This take, keep in mind, this was about eight and a half, nine years ago. I said, I would like to be involved in a men's ministry organization that extends well beyond just my parish. And I said, I don't know. I'm thinking it might be an opportunity for me to get to know men from, and I, and I prayed big. I said, 100 plus parishes. Well, my prayer has been answered because through this organization, I, I can, on so many different uh, situations and times in my life, I can reach out to other brothers from Granbury to Wichita Falls to Central Texas to almost the Red River and certainly throughout the, uh, the, 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 the Metroplex, if you will, and call upon these brothers to say, here's an issue that I'm dealing with. What, what, what's, your, what's your advice? What's your feedback? And likewise, men have reached out to me for feedback on various things. So I also part of my prayer was to get to know men of the Lord who would be role models for me. And I'm thinking in all the different roles that I've played in this ministry over the years, how in the world did the Lord put Deacon Burke Sivers in my car, put Father Larry Richard in my car, put Father Wade Menezes in my car? That is the work of the Holy Spirit saying, Bill, you asked, I answered. And so my pledge and my plea to men is to be open, be receptive to inviting change in your life, because clearly there was a time in my life when sports talk radio is all that you would see on the set pre-dial. Well, um, fortunately, I am a huge fan of Guadalupe Radio Network, particularly this radio station, and on Sirius Radio, listen to the Catholic Channel. And so I tell Patrick Coffin that he personally was the reason why I signed up for Sirius Radio, because when he was on Catholic Answers, I listened to him on my commute home, and I said, this guy is feeding me with exactly what my prayer was. I needed that nourishment, that spiritual nourishment in my life. And so I, I just think that God responds to our prayers sometimes quickly, Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but by attending a conference like this, you know, God places us where he needs us to display his light. And my hope and my prayer is that that place for men to be will be at the conference on February 23rd. Very Amen, nice. Brother Bill. <clears throat> Let's uh, just close out. If uh, Bob or Rick have any final uh, statements to say to everybody, we can close out and uh, hear from each of you. Rick, anything else? Sure. Uh, guys, uh, sign up if you can. It's going to be a great experience for you. Um, it's It'll encourage you. It'll get you um, 
engaged in your faith, and that's what this is all about, uh, to, to live our faith every day. It's a wonderful experience. So sign up at ntxcmc.org or Catholic Brothers for Christ. Either way, go and register, and we'll see you on February 23rd. And thank you for all your support throughout the years. Uh, this Again, it's a wonderful experience for us, but it, it's it's for all men, uh, for better leaders in our church. So uh-huh. come up. All right, we started with Bob, and we're going to finish with Bob. Well, Bob Duane. Uh, Dave, thank you, and thank you for all you do to help this ministry in this movement. Uh, again, you've heard it several times. You can go to NTX, which stands for North Texas Catholic Men's Conference, ntxcmc.org, or if you're didn't take Joey's advice and didn't pull over and write that down, you can remember this, catholicbrothersforchrist.com. Catholicbrothersforchrist.com. You can remember that. Join us February 23rd. Every man can give a day to their faith to the Lord. Come and join 800 men, the fellowship, and you will leave uh, enriched and inspired. God bless you. Thank you, Dave. All right. Uh, Thank you all. Bob Duane, Rick Self, Bill Kula, Joey Sam as well. Ralph Zerensky is doing the video. I'm sure that's going to pop up on Facebook or YouTube, and so you'll be able to see that as well. The website, again, ntxcmc.org. And I would just say my my last uh, thing is, you know, if you're a guy that's kind of on the fence and you're thinking, well, I don't know, I I think I need to, you know, mow the yard that day or, you know, I'm going to, you know, go to the park or what have you. Just look around. If you're a married man, your wife and your kids, I mean, uh, they need you. They need you to be a stronger man, a stronger father, a stronger husband. Uh, your coworkers need you. They need you to stand firm in Christ, which is the theme. And so, uh, you know, just do it. Uh, it's it's going to cost you $39, but the rewards could literally be eternal for you, your family, and even uh, descendants, uh, you know, centuries from now. So it really is a big deal. We want to see you there. Uh, again, February 23rd, St. Patrick's Parish in Dallas, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., 8 a.m. Mass as well. Great way to start uh, the day would be with Mass at 8 o'clock, ntxcmc.org. Thanks again, gentlemen, and thank you for listening. And uh, this has been the KTH 910 a.m. Interview of the Week here on the Guadalupe Radio Network. I'm Dave Palmer. Have a great day.